Hey everyone, so if you have ended up in a situation like me wherein your DJI app is no longer working after upgrading your phone to Android 14 and you can no longer use your drone, so I have a solution for you that will fix this problem 100% and it's a very simple solution so stick till the very end to understand every bit of this. So to begin with, this was the phone that I was earlier using with my drone. This is the Google Pixel 6 which got a recent Android update and I thought maybe it's some problem with the Pixel 6. So I installed the app on my Pixel 7 and it still doesn't work. So what I figured out is DJI has released a beta version which is not there on their uh, official download link yet. But you can install it and fix this problem. And before we get to that, let me show you the Android version that's currently on my phone. So here's something for a little verification. You can see that I'm using Android 14. And now back to the solution. So what you'll have to do is I'm going to paste a link in the description section below and you can download the APK from there. So I'm just pasting it here. So this link that I have, I've already posted this in the description section of this video. So you can download the APK from this link. And uh, you must be wondering what is this external link because uh, the DJI site has DJI.com but this one over here has DJICorp.com. Now even I was a bit confused but on the forum, on the help forum of DJI, I've seen many posts with this link from uh, people with a DJI account like the administrative people. So I've seen many of them use uh, these these kind of links for support purposes where they also give a password. In this case there is no password for this. It's a direct link and you can download the APK right away. So I'm using this third party app for installing APKs but you can do it directly from your phone. And here these top three are the APKs that I've downloaded from the download link of DJI.com and these were not working. And the last one is what we have downloaded right now. It's 561 MB. Let's install this. So now you can see that the app is installed and this is the moment of truth. So let's try opening this. And there you go. You can see that the app has started working fine. I've got the terms and conditions page. Now I can click agree and proceed. And then it will ask for the permissions and stuff. So from here on the app should work fine. I don't think there's a need for demoing this. But uh, I hope this video helps you in fixing your problem. I know it has been a really a big problem for everyone in the DJI community and this is the fix probably they'll roll it out in uh, in a few days but uh, yeah through the link that i've given in the description you can fix this problem easily so that's it for this one guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel